what is happening traders welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video we are going to be looking at how you can actually trade in line with the big banks all right don't forget that if you are looking for a reliable broker do make sure to sign up using the link that is in this video's description and receive yourself a trading bonus of 140 us dollars that is if you don't have any trading capital of course and do make sure to get those likes up so without wasting any time let us get on with this video right so as probably most of us guys know that the big banks actually uh, use this pattern most of the time to actually take retail traders money right the m and w pattern right so um what is interesting now is that um the big banks now know that most uh, most retail traders know about this pattern and you know when retail traders actually try to follow the big banks using this pattern they get manipulated by the big banks right so in this video i'll actually be showing you how to actually find the right m's and the right w's right so let's get on with it so guys what you need to understand is um you first have to know where most of the money is right you first have to actually um try and figure out where retail traders are actually most likely to place trades right to place their orders and as we all know that retail traders uh we've got a lot of price action traders here and most of them are most likely to place their the, their orders on resistance or support right so that is where you are actually most likely to see a lot of manipulation actually happening right so for instance you can see that here we had our first touch second touch and then you can see that on the third touch uh this resistance was actually manipulated right so you can see that we've got our double top here or or we've got our m pattern here right so what happened here just to be quick what happened here is price acted like it's actually breaking this resistance and then it actually came back to actually act like it is retesting it right so a lot of people actually bought here thinking that price is actually retesting this resistance and then price moved up a little bit and then you know um price just um, uh, moved to the downward and also a lot of people actually sold here right thinking thinking that price is going to actually respect this resistance and then when price came up here uh their stops were actually taken out so a lot of things actually happened here right so right now how do you know that this is the right um m to actually trade and um what should actually trigger your entry right what should actually trigger your entry how do you enter after all of this mess has actually happened and it is pretty much simple it is pretty much simple remember when i told you guys about um utilizing the higher time frames utilizing the higher time frames because on the higher time frames you enter after manipulation has been um ha has already been done right you can see that here you can see that there, is, there was a manipulation um of that m but when we actually go over to our weekly time frame here let's see what we are going to find look at what we've just found on our weekly time frame right a spinning top or a doji or yeah, i think it's a doji right so on the higher time frames after this candlestick uh, uh would have closed then you would have actually done what then you would have actually entered on this position this is why i always tell you guys that you know don't be so obsessed with sniper entries right don't be so obsessed with sniper entries wait for the market to actually do its thing and then enter after you know the 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 the, uh, the noise has, has already been done that is why i always tell you that run away from the small time frames run away from the small time frames because you're going to get manipulated that's for sure you are going to get manipulated right so you can see that there we've got a doji right and uh you know you would have entered there right put your stop loss there and then you know uh your, your next take profit would be where at your next um at your next uh support right there you can see this is like an easy one is to do the risk to reward ratio right another thing that i recently spoke about is guys don't 
the the um the 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 number of pips your stop loss is shouldn't actually um shouldn't actually uh scare you right even if a trade is somewhere around like a hundred pips um even if uh, a set type has like a hundred pip uh, stop loss if you're actually aiming for 300 pips then it's actually okay for instance let us just look at how many pips this usd cat trade uh would have been this is some like uh 150 pips right but if if you know um just to be clear i i i actually do not take this kind of uh long um long uh, uh term set type trades especially entries from the uh especially trades from the weekly time frame um because you know some of most of the people that are in the vip i don't think they have that much um accounts to actually for them to 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 actually be able to actually trade um set types like like this because i know that most of them do not listen i know that most of them don't even want to practice having a center account right so you can see how many pips the stop loss is here and let us actually look at how uh, at how many pips um your returns would be and your returns would be somewhere around 450 pips simple 450 pips right so if your stop loss is like probably some like 150 pips and your return is like 450 pips that's that's how this whole thing works bro just make sure that you risk one percent of your uh, of your account make sure that you risk one percent of your account and if you have a small account get yourself a, a, a center account and be able to risk one percent or a probably on this set type you would have been able to risk one percent in order for you to get three percent of your account simple as that most of you guys actually judge um m uh, most of you guys actually risk using stop losses and you don't risk using percentages of your account when in reality you're supposed to risk using percentages of your account right so let's uh let's not get carried away <laughs> let's come back to to what we're actually looking for so what would happen here is on the smaller time frames would actually get your m right or w and then when you actually go over to your bigger time frame you actually look for your candlestick pattern right so you can see that here on the smaller time frames right we had our double top right there but when we actually moved over to the weekly time frame we actually got our candlestick pattern our doji there so you would have entered after this candlestick pattern close i'm just making an example right so do make um this setup can actually happen like you'd actually sometimes you'd actually get um get your mow on the 15 minutes time frame and then you can actually enter on your four hour time frame right on the four hour time frame you actually um get your candlestick pattern right so that's how it is so um let's try and look at another setup here let's see if we can find another one because this happens a lot right this happens a lot right so let's see i'm, I'm saying a w there let's see if it was beautiful so you can see here that we had our w2 right you can see here that we had our w2 right so what happened here is a lot of people actually bought here when price actually reacted from this uh from the support a lot of people actually bought and then price came to what to take their stops to take their stops right the second leg of the w actually came to take them out right so let us look at what happened on the higher time frame like the weekly time frame or the daily time frame right let's see so you can see that here what happened was we actually got a hammer right or a doji right simple as it is guys simple as it is you can see that the manipulation happened it all happened the w the, the formation of stops and whatnot but on the hard time frame price didn't just do some crazy stuff price didn't move recklessly price didn't move in a funny way price just gave you a candlestick pattern confirming that yes right now you can buy this pair right right so you get your w on the smaller time frame 
right and then you go over and you wait for a candlestick pattern on the higher time frame simple as it is guys don't try to complicate a lot of stuff right um do not be afraid of having a hundred pip stop loss do not be afraid of having a 70 pip stop loss do not be afraid of having a 50 pip stop loss as long as you are risking one percent of your account if you if your account is small make sure that you get yourself um a cent account right if your broker doesn't provide a cent account make sure that you actually get a broker that actually provides you that will provide you with a cent account and mind you the broker that i've just recommended to you actually does offer a cent account so you can actually go and check that out um it's a very good broker reliable broker fast withdrawals i've been with them for like close to three years right now i've never faced any problem so you can actually go and check it out so that's it from this video guys do make sure to subscribe that is if you found value in this content see you in the next video